Hey guys, so today is going to be a favorites video. I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I've been loving recently. And I think today we are going to start with TV shows. Because as you guys know, I love a good TV show. So, yeah. Uh, the first TV show that I am going to be talking about is Scandal. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it to you guys before, but I recently started watching Scandal. Ever since I found out that there was going to be a How to Get Away with Murder and Scandal crossover, I felt like I needed to watch Scandal so I knew what the big deal was about that because I know that Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder are produced by the same person, Shonda Rhimes, and I know she makes good shows because she also makes Grey's Anatomy. So. I was excited to start on Scandal and guys, honestly, once I started I was hooked because it's just so good. I don't even know how to describe how good Scandal is. I mean, I thought that How to Get Away with Murder was kind of crazy and over the top, but it's like a walk in the park compared to Scandal. Scandal is like a whole other level of insane, crazy, drama, murder, like just just a whole other thing and it's set in Washington DC and it has to do with the president and like yeah it's, it's insane, it's kind of crazy, there's so much drama but I also kind of love it so been really loving Scandal um, since I've been so involved in Scandal I still have not actually watched the crossover of How to Get Away with Murder and Scandal because I feel like I need to like be caught up on both before I can watch the crossover and then finish How to Get Away with Murder because I'm pretty sure the show ended and I don't know what happens yet, so got a lot of TV to still watch, um, but that's okay because I'm excited for it. Uh, literally just started season 7 of Scandal, which is like the most recent season, so I'm so close to being caught up. Um, so there you go. Really been enjoying that. Um, and then another show that I've really been enjoying recently is Dynasty. I am pretty sure I have talked to you guys about this one before, but Dynasty is a Netflix original and I really love it. It is again one of those shows that is very true to the kind of thing that I love, which is like rich people drama, <laughs> which sounds so weird, but like I love that kind of thing. Like rich people, drama, money, scandal, yep that's my thing. So really been loving Dynasty as well, especially because in Dynasty right now, Fallon's mom just reappeared out of nowhere and the actress that plays Fallon's mom used to be in Desperate Housewives and I used to love her in Desperate Housewives so I'm really excited about that. Um, and so yeah, really been loving those two shows. And then finally the last TV show that I've really been loving, which uh, you guys definitely know that I've been loving this, and that is RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, so we just started season 10, and already I am obsessed. Honestly, after every episode, I'm waiting for the next one, because I just want more. Like, every season starts, and I'm a little bit hesitant, because I always look at the photos of the queens, and I'm like, alright, they look alright, I don't really look into them too much or anything before the show starts, but once... The show actually does start and I actually get to know these queens. I'm so interested and I cannot get enough because I really want to know more about them and I want to see the challenges and everything and I'm just like so excited about season 10. I just need more of it um, and I'm excited um, because just be told uh, the latest season of All Stars was kind of lackluster and it kind of left me really upset and wanting season 10 so bad. I think that's kind of why I've been so excited about this season because it is like so much better than All Stars was because if we just take a second to talk about the last All Stars season it was kind of the Ben de la Creme show and then once Ben de la Creme left I don't even know what happened because it was kind of just like a shit show of like what is happening, how is this happening, Shangela was robbed, like I don't know, All Stars 3 was a letdown for me in comparison to what All Stars 2 was, I feel like um, we were expecting so much more um, that we didn't get which is really sad um, so yeah that's kind of why I think season 10 has been so great for me so far because it has been so much more different and there's been a lot of strong competition like all of the season 10 girls are like really strong that being said I'm still trying to get to know them a little bit because I still get confused with names and stuff like that 
but I'm really excited to see where this season of RuPaul's Drag Race goes and uh, yeah so those are all of the TV shows that I have been loving recently um, moving on to uh, music I guess um, I was trying to think about this but I feel like there hasn't actually been a lot of music that I've really been loving um, but I have recently gotten into listening to Superfruit's music uh, so if you guys don't know who Superfruit is, because that sounds really weird to say um, it is Scott and Mitch, the two guys from Pentatonix they um, have been best friends forever basically and they kind of form Pentatonix um, but they also have like their own separate YouTube channel where it's just the two of them and it's called Superfruit and I think it was like a couple of years ago where they actually started bringing out music uh, independently from Pentatonix and it's only been recently that I've actually been listening to it um, because I remember not that long ago I did like listen to their music for the first time and I thought it was kind of okay but this time when I went back to listen to the music I got really into it so been listening to a lot of Superfruit recently um, and I've also been enjoying the new songs from Nashville season 6 um, honestly I always love Nashville songs I think they're really fun and great and um, yeah this season of Nashville has just had some really good music now, I do um, like I always do I wish there was more Juliet songs in season 6 but uh, currently in Nashville season 6, Juliet's going through a whole thing where she's kind of in a cult. So there hasn't been any music from her, which I'm kind of sad about, but the rest of them have really good music going on right now, so I've really been enjoying that. I am sad that this is the last season of Nashville while we're on the topic. Um, I have been watching it. Uh, it has been very different from the rest of Nashville. Like ever since Nashville got picked up by CMT it has been very different so I've kind of been a little bit unsure of it because it just has a different vibe than it used to but I'm still excited to see how they wrap up this whole show because um, from where I've been watching it's kind of like I don't see how they're wrapping this up anytime soon. Um, but I guess we see how it goes uh, because the uh, final half of the season will not even premiere until June, I think, so we have some time to wait. Um, but you know what, that's okay, because in the meantime, you know, i got a whole bunch of other shows that I'm watching and I'm enjoying, so, yeah, that's that. Then, the next thing that I want to talk about is something that actually has already happened, but I did enjoy it while it was there. Um, and that is the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Fishing Tourney. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I am still an avid player of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I am obsessed with it. I love it. I think it's adorable. I buy into Nintendo giving us all of these special events within the Pocket Camp game. And one of them happened to be a fishing tourney. And I was really excited about this because um, if you played the other Animal Crossing games then you know how fishing tourneys go. You either have to catch the biggest fish or you have to catch the biggest uh, specific fish. Sometimes it's like a fish specific fishing tourney or other times it's just you have to catch the biggest fish. And um, yeah, so that's kind of how fishing tourneys work in um, your regular Animal Crossing games. But with this fishing tourney that they have for the mobile game in Pocket Camp, basically what you had to do was just catch a bunch of special fish, which were like your fishing tourney fish, and they were only available at the time during the event, and then um, you would give all the fish that you caught to, I think his name's Chip, the fishing tourney guy, you give them to him and he would measure the total length of all the fish that you caught, and then you would get prizes based on how many fish you caught, and the total length of all the fish that you caught and I thought that was like really cute and a really um, interesting way for them to do this kind of competition in pocket camp um, because for me you know once you play a fishing tourney in an Animal Crossing game then you basically played every fishing tourney in Animal Crossing because they're basically the same so I thought that this was like a nice refreshing you know change to what a fishing tourney is in Animal Crossing. I mean, yes, okay, technically it's still the same thing, but a little bit different and also like a different format. And so I really enjoyed that. Thought it was super cute. Um, yes, I'm still always waiting for uh, an announcement for Animal Crossing for the Switch, 
but while we still don't have that I'm still going to enjoy the mobile game and I'm also enjoying Animal Crossing for the game cube um, which I haven't really played that much but I do enjoy playing it when I do um, and so yeah I just want to say good job Nintendo I'm really enjoying the mobile game and the special events that you give us for that but at the same time I would like some announcement of some kind of switch game because while the mobile game is adorable and kind of fun, I want another full-fledged Animal Crossing game because I just need it. It's been a while, guys. Please give us our Animal Crossing game. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's all that I'm going to say about that. Otherwise, this whole video will turn into an Animal Crossing video. Um, so yeah. Um, then moving on to another thing that I've been loving recently and that is my new tattoo. Um, so yeah, if you guys watched my gothic makeup video that I posted earlier this week then you've probably already seen it but I did get a new tattoo. I got it on Good Friday because um, me and my boyfriend were going to a tattoo place because he wanted to get a tattoo and I also kind of wanted to get one so um, yeah. We got tattoos. Now, before I go any further, I do want to say that we did not get matching ones, uh, which was going to be a joke. We kind of wanted to like trick our friends into thinking we got matching ones because we got them at the same time, but they're not matching. Um, his is completely different than mine. And um, yeah, so I feel like I should like, actually show you guys it so you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, this right here, yep. This is my new tattoo. Um, it just says XOXO. Um, does it have meaning? Kind of. Um, and also not really. I mean, if you want to give it meaning, to me, it would kind of stand for like Gossip Girl. Because, you know, like XOXO Gossip Girl. And I love Gossip Girl. So if there was going to be any sort of a meaning attached to it, that would kind of be it. But other than that, like, it doesn't really have meaning, honestly. Like, I was, um, literally just looking at tattoo ideas after my boyfriend brought up that he wanted his. And, um, I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty and so adorable. And so I really wanted to get it. And, um, yes, okay, when you think about it, it is kind of like a basic kind of tattoo. Like, it's kind of one of those things that you would consider, like, a basic thing. But I really love it and I like the way that it turned out. And I'm really glad that I got it, like, here on my arm, because before that I almost got it, like, on the inside of my arm, like, just below my elbow here. But, um, I'm really glad with the placement of it and everything, because I thought, um, that it was really nice. And so, yeah, that is that. I know I have two tattoos, which, um, I never thought that I would get in the first place, so there you go. Um, that's what I've been enjoying recently. And so I guess this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below if there is anything that you've been loving recently. Whether it's a TV show or a movie or something like that. Maybe I'll check it out. Um, and yeah, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.